Fushi's growth has been one of the most interesting things that I've watched during this season of anime, or better yet, in anime in general. It's been a pleasure to watch Fushi grow, but episode 6 was a little wild. Not only did we run into somebody who was specifically made to counter Fushi, we got to watch a lot of Fushi development. We also got to meet the creator of Fushi, whom we've come to realize is not a god, but more so potentially an alien i don't know but i'm gonna dive a little deeper once we get into the meat of the video what's going on everybody it's your boy damo senpai and we are here to talk about episode six of to your eternity again i'm gonna reiterate it watching fushi grow has been so awesome and i've come across a lot of youtube videos where people say they lied to us in what regard you realize that march was never going to be the main protagonist you realize that the white-haired boy in the beginning was never going to be the protagonist you've noticed that fushi and everyone that he's met who has been important has died you realize that right that's exactly what i picked up on this entire season but let's not get too sidetracked if you are new to the channel and have yet to subscribe and you would love to see more anime content make sure you hit that link tree that link tree will help you follow me on all my socials subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on tiktok follow me on twitter follow me on twitch where i'll potentially be streaming i've come to the realization that i need to dedicate a lot more of my time into my craft aka creating content so it is of utter importance that we actually get to the important stuff if i want to be taken serious i gotta start dropping a shit ton of content right so if you guys want to help me and support me throughout what i do just go ahead follow me on twitter follow me on tiktok and subscribe to the channel all of that will help me in the long run you'll see for yourself but let's get into episode six of two year eternity again watching fushi grow has been ha fushi grow fushi guro you know it's pretty tight the correlation here with Jujutsu Kaisen, but that we'll save that for later. Watching Fushi mature has been quite the treat. You've seen him actually develop emotion, and in this episode, he's starting to talk. He sounds like a baby. Like, it's literally watching a baby grow, but at rapid pace because he was designed to store information and pick up information a lot faster than anything because he is a tool or the guy that we meet in this episode but it was cool we got to run into lady p and i think calling her lady p is pretty tight i like that running into lady p in the forest she thought march survived but deep down she knew march died deep down she did but just seeing fushi as march was a shock so it sent a shock through her system and gave her the hope that you know march was still there once she realized it was fushi and fushi didn't understand anything and she even tried to eat fushi she told fushi hey you want to learn language you want to learn how to talk we'll train you in the arts of being human that's essentially what lady p said as long as he accompanied her on her journey back home her home was across the sea but before we even got there we ran into the creator fushi's creator and it's interesting that he that there is a battle going on that we don't know nothing about right this is a battle between interdimensional beings you got the people who like the guy in the hood created fushi and they're battling people who sent plants well plant-like creatures to stop people like fushi or beings like fushi they were created for that specific purpose but my true question is is that what's really going on is it really an interdimensional battle or is this god air quotes the one that's causing all of this because remember you heard him say who has stepped who dare step foot into my garden and when he looked it was fushi laying on the ground and then all of a sudden fushi gets attacked i'm just trying to figure out what in the hell this being is up to because maybe right maybe when he said who dare step foot into my garden maybe that was him talking about the creature that showed up but he knows way too much about this creature so like i said it could be a war between interdimensional beings either from the same planet from the same dimension or whatnot it had the ability to snatch everything from fushi all his abilities all of what he's learned and it was a moment for fushi to grow and the creator told him you must defeat this being in order order to survive because this being was made to kill you which i found very intriguing fushi ended up almost losing every ability every bit of information that he gained but as march he was flying through the trees until he was able to defeat that 
being who took the final form of Oniguma. I, I still don't know if that's Oniguma. It might be, but he took on the form of Oniguma and that gave little March the incentive like, oh, there's the core. The godlike being told me, hey, you need to take that core from him in order to get all the information back that you need. And using all the all of what he's learned, all of what he retained, he took down that Oniguma. And from here on, we traveled and traveled and traveled and Lady P taught Fushi so much. Taught him proper way to drink, the proper way to cook, putting names to things, right? Putting names to things like, Oh, this is a fish. Oh, this is water. Oh, this is a boat. This means March. This is your name, Fushi. And this is my name, Lady P. And you're seeing Fushi actually enjoy learning this, which is why I said the growth of Fushi has been so cool to watch. But the interesting part is that that god disappeared. Either disappeared into a tree or he went to his dimension. I don't know how this being operates, but I'm curious as to what else this being has in store for us. And what else this being is going to try to teach Fushi because the one thing that boggles my mind is that he sent Fushi here in order to learn all about earth but it seems that he knows more about earth than even fushi could learn so what is his true purpose we'll find out later but we travel to lady p's homeland this is where i believe we meet another set of characters who are gonna die i hate to be the bearer of bad news but anybody fushi meets i think it's gonna be a repetitive cycle right fushi's gonna meet somebody who's gonna have a huge impact on him that he's gonna travel with learn from grow close with and they're gonna die this is the life and deaths the beautiful cycle of life and death that we're going to be learning this entire anime series and it sucks because we've seen it in the opening that's why i had to stop watching to your eternity's opening because if you really paid attention from the first time you watched it you already knew what was going to be going down all the people who was going to die everyone that fushi was gonna meet i wonder if we're ever gonna run into perona again god she was gorgeous and so was the girl who killed march but fuck that bitch she's no longer important but other than that i'm looking forward to next week's episode let me know if you guys mind me dropping these on tuesday obviously my mondays are taken up with hige hero i'm gonna fix my uploading schedule all that's gonna be taken care of here in the next week i'm gonna be focused focused on the grind anyways what was your takeaway from episode six of to your eternity what did you what did you learn what was your overall opinion on this episode let me know in the comment section below also let me know your overall opinion of to your eternity in general i think this show has potential but i don't want it to be repetitive that tends to happen in a lot of anime the moral of the story becomes repetitive the lesson becomes repetitive and you know it just kind of falls off but i see a lot of potential potential in this anime leave a like if you enjoy subscribe if you're new if you want to help me on my road to becoming a full-time content creator make sure you hit that subscribe button i have a lot more planned i'm gonna try to turn my fridays into flashback fridays i'm still writing the script for the kanichi video i have plans for future videos anime flashback fridays i have a lot in store for you guys a lot of my favorites a lot of one season anime that i want to see come back but as always, it's your boy Damo Senpai and I will see you guys in the next video.